You all know that Callie loves a lot of things. Callie loves music. Callie loves dancing. Callie loves talking, especially with you guys. But you might not know that Callie loves animals. I've been begging my parents to take me to the zoo for weeks. I'm sure they will soon. But to get ready for that trip to the zoo, we have a very special guest today. You might remember her. She has been here before. It's Stacy. Hey, Callie. Hey, everyone. I found out that she loves. Are you ready for this? Animals! That's true. I do love animals. I want to be a veterinarian when I grow up. Cool. Wait, what's that? It's like a doctor for animals. Oh my goodness, that's amazing! A doctor for animals? I bet you have to know a lot about animals to be a veterinarian. Yeah, you do! Awesome! Well, I know you want to talk to us about a very special animal today. Is it a lion? Roar! Is it a monkey? Ooh, 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 ooh. Is it an elephant? That's right, isn't it? It's an elephant. I knew you'd start with the coolest, biggest animal ever. Actually, I'm not going to talk about any of those animals. The animal I want to talk about today is... The salmon. The salmon? Like the fish my mom and dad serve for dinner on Salmon Sunday? That's them. Salmon are amazing animals. I've never seen a salmon at the zoo. What about a stingray? Or a shark? Salmon do something just as cool as any stingray or shark. When salmon are ready to lay eggs, they have to do it in a certain place. Their home, where they came from. They are so determined to get there that they swim upstream. Imagine that, the water is pushing against them, but they never give up. They even jump up waterfalls. That deserves a Cali triple butt take. What, but what? Salmon jump up waterfalls? I didn't know they were such tough creatures. They really don't give up, do they? I need some time to rethink Salmon Sunday while we check out our Bible story for today. Today's story comes from the book of Daniel chapter 1. Long ago, the people of Israel were taken away from their homes to a place called Babylon. The king of Babylon's name was Nebuchadnezzar. King Nebuchadnezzar wanted some of his prisoners to work for him in the palace, but he only wanted the very best. A young man named Daniel and his friends were chosen to serve the king. When you served the king, you had the chance to eat a little bit of what the king ate, which was the very best food in the kingdom. The problem was that the food in the palace was not the kind of food God's people ate. Daniel and his friends wanted to obey God, even though they were in a far away land. So they had to make a really hard choice. Not eating what the king gave them could get Daniel and his friends in big trouble because no one around them really cared about God's rules. It would have been easy for Daniel to give up on obeying God and to simply eat what was given. But he didn't. Daniel refused to eat the food that he wasn't supposed to. He told the guards that he and his friends would only eat vegetables and water for 10 days. When they did, they were healthier and stronger than anyone else. Vegetables and waters are good for you, but they weren't the only reason Daniel and his friends stayed safe, healthy, and strong. It was because God was with them. Even though they were far away from home, they kept trusting God. They soon became King Nebuchadnezzar's favorite, even when things got hard. Daniel and his friends stood strong and said, I won't give up. God is with me. I bet when Daniel and his friends were in Babylon, they felt a lot like salmon swimming upstream trying to get home. I mean, they really had to be tough to keep on obeying God and not give up even when everyone else was following the rules of the king of Babylon. They did have to be tough, but just like salmon, 
Daniel and his friends didn't give up. I guess the salmon was a perfect creature to share with us today. You really know your stuff about animals. Now I have a surprise for you. What's that? Well, I was thinking, I bet those salmon look pretty funny swimming upstream, don't they? Flopping around everywhere and everything? Mmm, yeah, I guess it's kind of funny. <laughs> So I thought we could end our show today by doing the floppy salmon dance. Are you ready? Remember what we talked about today? Daniel and his friends didn't give up because they knew God was with them. Like them, we should never give up loving God and doing what God wants us to do. Sing it with me now. I won't give up. God is with me.